I did that backwards. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Goals. All right. This is John Sylvain, and today we're talking about goals. So you have some resolutions. So you made some resolutions. Now the question is, are they smart? Um, you want to turn those resolutions into goals. And uh, the best way to make goals is to use SMART goals. S-M-A-R-T. Now, SMART is, stands for different things depending on where you look. But S and M almost always stand for specific and measurable. Now, what's a specific and measurable goal? Well, I'll tell you what's not a specific and measurable goal is losing weight or getting fitter. That's not specific and it's not measurable. You can't tell if you, measurable means that you can tell if you accomplished it, right? So you can measure it. So losing 20 pounds is specific and measurable. Uh, running an eight minute mile is specific and measurable. Making $10,000 is specific and measurable. The T in SMART stands for time-bound or time-based, or sometimes the uh, inaccurate word, timely. <laughs> but what it means is that your goal is set in time. In other words, I will lose 10 pounds by 10 weeks from now. Now, is that a SMART goal? Well, let's look at the other two words, the other two letters, A and R. A stands for achievable or attainable, usually. Um, and then R stands for relevant or sometimes realistic, but since realistic is almost the same thing as achievable or attainable, then let's just say it's relevant. So is it relevant to your theme that we talked about yesterday, your purpose, your overall, you know, life? Is it relevant? <clears throat> so for instance, <laughs> if you uh, want a new career, it might not be relevant to learn to play the tuba. It might be relevant if you want to change your career to tuba player, um, but it might not be. So you want to see if it's relevant because you want to spend your time actually achieving these goals, not just talking about them. So achievable, relevant, time-based, specific, measurable, not necessarily in that order. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-based. And that's how you write down your goal. So you take your goal. And you see if it is, you know, if you have a 10 pound goal or lose 20 pounds. Now it's safe. Doctors will tell you that it's safe and makes sense to lose weight at a pound or two per week. So if you want to lose 20 pounds, you're going to take at least 10 weeks to lose 20 pounds. Um, it might be wiser to say that it'll take 15 weeks or, uh, yeah, 15 weeks or 20 weeks. Um, but that, and, and then that's realistic. And you put that in, and then you write that all down. You share it with someone and ask maybe that they'll be uh, make you accountable, that they'll hold you accountable for the goals you set. And it doesn't have to be a mean thing. Just say, I'm, I'm achieving my goals or I'm not achieving my goals, and I told somebody about it. Don't keep it secret. Why keep it secret? Be public about it. And then, finally, Unfold it backwards. So you start out, you say, okay, in, in 20 weeks, I'm going to have lose 20 pounds. So then you fold it back and you sort of put it in the calendar and figure out how much do I have to lose in a week? And you probably have to lose at least a pound, right? And you want to keep track of that and you want to figure out the actions and the habits and the structures that you need in order to achieve your goals. And by doing that, you take all of your fantasy land sort of, I think someday I want to uh, do be better at this, these resolutions, and turn them into actual real goals. All right? Okay. So, again, nope, not over there. Over here, right here, it says subscribe. Push that button and subscribe, and then go to the blog, get more stuff. <laughs> okay. Have a fantastic day.